Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and welcome to uh, episode 11 here, I suppose, of my Let's Play through as the Iroquois. Now, you may be noticing something a little different in uh, the video quality. I'm playing around with 1080p here. Um, I think I may be caving and uh, subscribing to XSplit here to provide you guys with some better quality. It's not too expensive. I'm going to experiment with it. So I got a free trial with it. I'm going to try it out for a little while and I'm going to see uh, if there's any significant difference in quality here, which the bloody well better be because if I start paying for this, it's uh, going to be expensive. Anyway, here, I have been taking a look around the map here before I started with this particular Let's Play and I just want to go through it as well with you guys. So right now we're in the lead. Uh, let's take a look at one thing I did not take a look at, which is the domination victory screen here so we control a decent amount of capitals we control three other capitals there are four to go if we want to take the domination route which i think we're leaning towards at this point at least i'm leaning towards at this point i mean arguably we just need to take out portugal and we could probably win a science victory if we wanted to we could let's take a look at tourism as well culture yeah, we're on track for a cultural victory as well, if we want to. Although we'd have to really push for that. It may be too late to... No, it's probably not too late to start pushing for that. Um, diplomatic victory. Getting rid of a bunch of uh, people. We should be making a crap ton of money. Well, we are making decent amounts of money right now. But yeah, I think building up a navy and specifically... Going along this top research path, which I intentionally neglected because I was focusing mostly on land warfare, particularly with the early conquest with the um, Iroquois warriors here. But I think I'll uh, hold off a little bit here. I'll try to uh, get some... I may hold off until I have frigates. And uh, definitely I'll get into gear once I have artillery and... Uh, and... Uh, not ships of the line, but uh, battleships. Battleships, later uh, missile cruisers, and uh, we'll see what we go for here. The Iroquois are turning out to be uh, pretty damn good in terms of uh, production here. However, there is a... Uh, hmm. There's a question of what we want to do here, whether we want to go autocracy or we want to go order. So we'll think about that more later. Uh... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy up this uh, tile right here that's got seven coal on it that used to belong to Morocco, and uh, I may even rush by a worker if I don't have one nearby. Oh, I do. He's right here. What is he doing? He's out of moves. All right, so you can get there in four turns. That's acceptable. Ramesses has built uh, the tower. Ramesses has been wonder whoring this entire game, as you can see there. So he built the Leaning Tower of Pisa. He's got a bunch of shit. Uh, my next target's going to be Portugal, Lisbon, their capital, possibly Porto and, uh, Braga as well, but I may, emphasis on may, need to get, uh, honestly, I could probably take them right now, uh, actually, but the logistics of it is going to be a bit of a nightmare because there's this big... This big mountain range, big set of mountain ranges that converge right here, and there's, like, no mountain pass to get through by the looks of it. So control of the water is going to be essential, even though it's a Pangea map, which is frustrating. I mean, alternatively, I could just build a big, long road all the way through here by the uh, alliance of uh, Almady and uh, Kuala Lumpur, start going to war with Thebes, and then uh, push across the land here, go to war with Egypt, rather take their capital of Thebes, and then push up and uh, go to war with uh, the Polish and take their capital of Warsaw. And also I could just do a land war with Portugal, take their capital, call it a day with them, and then uh, hopefully they're irrelevant enough to not have to worry about them. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see how long it takes to build forces up, and we'll uh, start our turn now, and we'll see how things go. Ireis considerar esta oferta? Uh, let's see how much we can get for a single luxury first off. Any deal would suggest an unfair trade. 
Uh, let's try a trade of six. That's slightly unfair. So five. Not even close to a fair deal, so she's going to trade four per luxury then. So let's just go ahead and trade our additional luxuries that uh, we've got duplicates of to her, and we will do that for four times that. That would be 12 gold. It's not terrific, but it'll get us some extra gold per turn. She really wants embassies. All right, she can have embassies. And, uh, oh, lost some happiness there. That's not good. Hmm. Let's talk to Ramses here. We do plan to uh, stab him in the back eventually, but not for a while. Uh, no, I'm not giving you salt. How about if I give you uh, nine? I think nine's usually the least I can get for it. Acceptable? What'll make this deal work? Fifteen, really? Uh, I don't think fifteen's worth it right now. It's a bit high. And yeah, it's completely not worth it, because I'm now at nine happiness, plus nine happiness. Oh my. Alright. Oh dear, so this worker actually is a little closer. Uh, our ally Malka that we liberated from the Mongols also has that stuff, so uh, may uh, this guy takes one more turn. We may just run up here. We'll see if we can improve that for them, force them to improve it. Kind of do it whether they like it or not. And then hopefully we'll get that. Hopefully that's how it'll work. And uh, anyway, let's, let's take a look at Babylon. I think it's going to be one of my major harbors for my navy once I get it started, which... Ironically, I don't care about a harbor here. I care about uh, training facilities like barracks and armories. Do I have those already? I suppose I maybe do, except I don't see them in the list. The hell? Alright, just a sec here, folks. Just got some things to... Ah, yes, that's why I don't see them in the list. Because it's cute. But we need it to be done. So we're just going to buy it there. We're going to make sure Akasama has a barracks as well. We're actually going to prioritize that over the castle for now. All right, we've done that. Continue to do our road thing here. And uh, one's our religion, Protestantism. Okay, and this guy is a Protestant prophet, right? Yep. Okay, so this city is... Being pressured, it'll continue to follow our religion. That's good. Um, yeah, I think I'd, I've got one more spread of religion here, so I think I'll use that on Karakum. And uh, move on up there. I think we'll still uh, we'll continue to explore a little bit here. We'll see what we're up against over in this corner of the world. Polish are getting upset. That I do not like. Let's build an opera house in here for now. Actually, actually. No, maybe I'd prefer to make this one the, uh... Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll queue up a, uh, musician's guild there at a certain point. And these guys, these guys can travel freely for now. They should be able to at least. We'll have navigation done in no time, which will be fantastic. And we'll explore a little more and we'll uh, find out exactly what's going on here, specifically as whether this is a uh, peninsula or whether this body of water is in fact a giant fucking lake. Because that's very important. Alright, what do we have here? We can do nothing except, like, just beat a capital or something. Uh, at the moment, since we're being peaceful, I'd like some money, so trade routes. Available trade routes. What is the most profitable of available trade routes? Aquasam to... Aquasam to Mecca? Really? Um... What about that barbarian encampment? Oh, sure. 
Uh, let's go ahead and forward them to Akasam. It's worth the chance because it was a big and big trade route. We'll take a look. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll be able to just get a peek in here and see how things are. This guy's up. A lot of coal over there by Kuala Lumpur as well. Very good to see. Also good to see that I'm one of the uh, relatively few cities by the looks of it that's in the uh, industrial era so far, just based on the cities. We've got, uh, yeah, not even the Portuguese are there yet, I think. Although we're just barely into the industrial era. Buildings haven't actually changed at all, so that could not be the case. We shall find out. We'll just rush by a courthouse here. That'll fix a happiness issue and big pain in my ass. Build some... Just some of our regular buildings that we'll need in every city, and Poland's done that. Cute. Great Poland. Let's uh, burn our last profit here. Or consume him, rather. Either one of those sounds good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of those sounds good at all. Oh, that was a tra sea trade route. Son of a bitch. And that's the uh, wrong one. Okay, let's let's take another look here, guys. So boat trade routes, boat trade routes. Okasana to uh, Lisbon is currently the best one. So moving them again. We're moving them to... Uh, Sana. Yep. And good, that is in fact, as it probably should be, a peninsula. Now there still could be some ice down here. That'll just fuck up all of my plans for the future. <laughs> but I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world to have the uh, text for have the techs for uh, boats and stuff. I mean, we need those later on for oil as well. So we're going to need them at some point. Hmm. Give us some turns to prepare. We'll get some melee units stationed nearby and maybe we'll uh, ninja a few cities from them. Fact, we'll take this guy back out. Take this guy back out too. And uh, we'll move these guys on over. And now we'll do our trade route with Lisbon, and we're still getting a little bit of science there. It's good. They're getting less science than we are. And... Okay, let's see. So ideally we want to guard this dude. Can we get him all the way up to where that crossbowman is? Yeah, we can actually get him past it. He'll uh, cover for us, so we should be okay. Nope. Theater is built far away. Sure, we'll continue to trade our luxuries with each other. Uh, so now that we know that the Arabians are uh, pushing against uh, these guys, my priorities may change a little bit. So he's just... He's plotting against a bunch of people. Interesting. Don't have a problem with that. Don't blame them at all. So we're going to get some navigation. We're going to get some uh, 
bombardment ships there. And uh, that'll be wonderful. In the meantime, we actually really should uh, fix up uh, Babylon here. It got ravaged by barbarians before. So, do not want to uh, keep it that way. Let's uh, put this guy on guard, or just park him there. That'll work. And selling you my citrus seems like a reasonable enough idea. And uh, yeah, we're doing ridiculously good for gold right now. Knight was damaged by Gallus. It's, uh, where is that knight, actually? And he's over here on this particular peninsula. I think we'll actually pull him back one. I'd like to pull him back more, but it'll only let me do one. Hello, new city! Damn, Poland's getting a little ridiculous with their city-state allies here. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's uh, try gifting a tile improvement, since apparently we cannot improve their tile for them. So how much did that cost me? That cost me anything? Alright. Anyway, folks, let's uh, go ahead go over to our capital city here, queue up the factory, and we'll uh, try to queue up those sorts of buildings in other areas pretty soon. Areas where it's not going to take... Take a look at Buffalo Creek. Buffalo Creek will take forever. Build Gonia. Extra happiness is always lovely. Seventeen turns, less than ideal. Repeat. A while. Babylon will take an eternity to build a factory. That's because it's still on. Fucking gold focus. Though well, apparently changing the uh, focus doesn't do jack squat. Unfortunately, those two cities that I want to... Uh, <sighs> those cities that I want to uh, turn into uh, navy building cities have some of the crappiest production of any of my cities. Not impressed. Long house that. So let's just up and buy the longhouse here, and it still takes a frickin' eternity for building factory, probably. Uh, we need three of them, so I guess we we will queue it up and repeat for now, and uh, we'll see how it goes. That's pretty much cut all she wrote. We'll see how it goes. See what happens. And we'll just build uh, basic buildings. It should be in Karakom already, which were probably destroyed when I conquered it.
and choosing a host. Well, at this point, I'm uh, more trusting of Poland than uh, <laughs> the uh, other people uh, here. Well, actually, I want, I would love Arabia to get it, but they're not, our combined votes only lead to eight, so I'm going to make Poland the uh, head of it here. Then we can uh, yank it out from under them later on. At least that's the plan. That's the hope. That's the goal. Cross. Let's go up. Fortify. 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 And if he complains that my forces are on his borders, I'll just declare war on him. And that will be that. Since we're going aggressive, we might as well just build as many barracks as we can. And this the secondary city of uh, Vangus here. The population of eight citizens? Yeah, university's probably worth it. We can get Oxford eventually, that's the best uh, possible outcome. But at the same time, we want to check on our fucking army here because Poland's in the lead right now. I'm assuming they're getting into uh, winged Hussar territory soon, which is going to be interesting. Good reason to not go to war with them right now. I'm hoping that Maria's unique unit, well, I don't think it's that great to begin with, but uh, I'm hoping her unique unit is uh, at the point here where it uh, no longer is as relevant. I think it's uh, on the way out here, because pretty soon a few more attacks and we're going to have uh, stuff like the uh, Ironclad. That'll help. Grand River. What can we build in a hurry here in Grand River? Well, let's, uh, let's build a cannon there. Cool. And Poland certainly has a lot of fucking cities this time around. A lot of cities. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll improve the hills of Babylon. We'll build mines. And he's happy that he got the World Congress. He's thanking us for it. You're welcome. In fact... Since you are so far away, I can probably go ahead and... Actually, before we do that... Oh, it was worth a shot to get a declaration of friendship from him, but, uh, oh well. Hopefully we should be able to get this. Yep. Alright, so we're getting max value for our uh, strategic resources. That's good. We'll bleed out his gold per turn here. That's good. Cool. We just sell off our excess luxuries, because at the moment we do not need them. It's far more important to... I prefer if we uh, got a cargo ship, actually. Um, crap. Oh, we can get an observatory, but it's going to take forever. Well, let's start building an observatory anyway. We'll throw some hammers towards it. And we'll... There, and this poor knight is taking a beating. So I guess we run away. Start sending these guys back. So we've succeeded in exploring around Poland. Very good, very good. We want mines there. Uh, improve those pastures. Make sure those salt mines are good. And that's the timer. All right, so there's going to be a few episodes here of just uh, 
getting stuff ready, trying to build up our civilization before we have another big war push here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this turn, clean everything up, and uh, we'll uh, get started on the next video here. I'll throw down a cut uh, fairly soon here, guys. Uh, this is not a coastal city. I can't build the uh, trade route here like I'd like to. I can build a cannon, though. All right, is this the last part of the turn? Not quite yet. All right, now it is. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm throwing down a cut here, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.